hello everyone in this video i shall tell you how to go about a graphical method and uh, in lpp and uh, to find out the exact answer so how to find out the correct answer in case of lpp a simple method that nobody else would tell you so in this case i've taken an example maximize z is equal to 6x1 and 10x2 x1 plus 2x2 is less than equal to 200 x1 and x2 is equal to less than equal to 150 x2 is less than equal to 60 so in this case if i put x1 as 0 so i get x2 the value as 100 and if I put x2 as 0 I would get the value of x1 as 200 for my plotting purposes and 0 150 and 150 for detailed information on how to extract these values you can see my previous videos and x2 so x1 here is uh, automatically 0 and x2 is equals to 60 the less than constraints would be dealt in while shading the area so in this case if i do the plotting i can see that i plot here this is my x2 axis so if x1 is 0 to so x2 is 100 and if x1 is 200 this is 0 so i combine this line and mark this equation as x1 plus 2x2 less than equal to 200 now for the next equation 150 and 150 will be plotted so 150 here and 150 here so it will be plotted like this so this is the line i get x1 plus x2 is less than equal to 150 and for another line x2 x2 is simply 60 so i would draw a straight line this is x2 less than equal to 60 so now i'll shade the less than constraints in all these cases so um, now i have to maximize this value so i get the, this point and this point as the corner points from the lower region so i have to lower region shade and the less than region shade and i have to see which are the maximum points so this can be done this can be done my maximum point and this is also and this is also so i can see my maximum point and this is also and this is also so i will jot down the coordinate points coordinate points so coordinate points suppose i mark this as a i mark this as b c and d and this is the origin so a b c d and the origin so at a it is clearly visible the values are for x1 it is 0 0 60 and for b it is here and here so uh, in case of uh, b i'm uh, i can see it it is 80 on x1 and 60 for c point i'm not sure about the value so in this case what i'll do is if i know what two equations are intersecting at c that equation is say the, the two equations that are intersecting at point c are x1 x2 less than equal to 150 and x1 and x2 uh, plus 2 x2 is less than equal to that is these two equations are intersecting at c so i can simultaneously i can simultaneously equal to and this is x1 plus x2 we will remove the less than sign and i will simultaneously solve this and um, I'll simultaneously solve this and minus uh, you know in simultaneous equation we used to change the sign minus minus and minus so this is cancelled x2 x2 is 50 so x1 will be put into this equation or this equation so uh, if I put it in the equation number 2 so it is x2 is 50 so x1 automatically would be 100 is 100 so I clearly get the values 150 for C. So this is how you can resolve the conflict that we don't know what values are coming from say point C. So point C is in mid, I don't know what values are coming from so I will simply see that there are two equations intersect and simultaneously solve them in the and I will definitely get the correct answer for my coordinate points. 
hope you've understood this and for the d point as i i know it is on 150 on this so 0 and 150 uh, 150 and 0 150 on the x axis and x2 axis it is 0 and 0 uh, coordinate points are 0 so now I'll, I'll put these values in the objective function and my objective function is m max 6x1 plus 10x2 so I'll put all these values, putting by these, putting these values, this is 600, this is 1080, this is 1100, this is 900, this is 0. So the highest value since it is maximization case. So by putting these values, I'll show you for 1, 6 into x1 is 0 plus 10 into x2. So it is 0 plus 600. So this is 600. This is how you put all the values and you choose the maximum value. So this is the maximum value at C point. So this is your answer. Uh, so you can say maximize Z is equals to 1100 where X1 is equals to 100 and X2 is equals to 50. So if you don't know what values are in intersection, then you can see those two equations which are intersecting simultaneously. Solve them, so you will definitely get the coordinate points. So this is how you get the sure sure answers in case of a graphical method. Uh, thanks for watching but don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.